Hey guys, uh, part four of our study guide here, uh, just kind of an addition of solving matrix equations. A lot of times students forget how easy these one are. Again, if you have two matrices equal to one another, that means each cell is equal to each cell. Okay, each spot's equal to each spot. So really, for solving these ones here, we're solving for x and y. That means that 3x is really a maintain. So 3x equals a maintain. Oh my goodness, x equals a equals x. Okay, now don't forget about y on the other side. Um, bottom left, bottom left, 2y equals negative 4, y equals negative 2. E. So for these ones, it's just a tad harder. Um, you need to add first. So 2x plus 10 is negative 2x plus 10. Um, a way to check here, 6 plus negative 2 is 4. 1 plus 14 is going to be negative 13. And lastly, negative 8 plus 12 is 4. So this matrix is equal to this matrix. Okay, what's that mean? Well, negative 2x plus 10 is really negative 9. Okay, subtract the 10. And x10 is You can leave as a fraction. Now what this also means is y must be 4. It's given to you. Easy. Easy. Alright guys, so here is the third part of our review, the dreaded word problems. Okay, they're really not as bad as what they seem. One thing I do introduce is um, matrices and really it's just a nice way that this data is organized so um, Perry he is organizing his sales for pumpkins and pies these are like your X and Y variables from before um, pumpkins cost ten dollars each pies cost twelve dollars each now the way he has it set up so this will be helpful for later he has it set up each season to season Okay, and the easy thing is um, these two matrices, if we set them up as A and B, um, in order to find this profit for each month, you just need to multiply matrix A, um, which would be 200 and 150, um, 310, 97, 120, 210 times matrix B, okay? And that's really all you need to do. Um, multiplying the two matrices, you'll get a three by one matrix back out. And if you do that, you'll have his days for September, or his profit, October and November. So all that just means that he makes in September, you'll have 3,800. In October, you should have 4,264. And November, 3,720. Okay, that's really it. Um, the other thing, and this uh, here is a bonus question. Um, a movie theater charges $4 for children, for adults, and senior citizens, okay? Just like before, we have three different variables now. This is actually a system of three, and it's bonus, and that's why um, I didn't go over it more specifically in class, but it's really easy, honestly. Um, we'll say children are X. Adults are going to be Y, and seniors, Z. One equation always has all of your money. Um, so it's $4 per children, 4x, 6 for adults, 
plus 6y, and 5 for seniors plus 5z. And how much did they spend? They spent $66. Um, the family is 14. Now, so many, so here's our total number. So many of our family are children. So many are adults. So many are seniors. And they equal 14. Now, the last bit comes from our extra number, our extra information. They give you this extra little tidbit. There are an equal number of senior citizens and children. Well, if children are equal to seniors, that means x equals z. So your third bit's your little extra information, x equals z. Now, substitute, okay? If x equals z, Anywhere I see z, I can just substitute x, okay? Um, doing all that then, your money equation is 4x plus 6y plus 5, really, um, z is x equals 66, and your other equation is x plus y plus x equals 14. Now from here, I will leave up to you to solve. Um, if you have more questions, please ask me. But from here, it's just simplifying and solving. Um, to be even more specific, 9x plus 6y equals 66, and 2x plus y equals 14. Um, solve that any way you'd like. You should have X or children would be 6, Y, which are adults, would be 2, and Z, which are seniors, should also be 6. So they're really, I promise, not all that challenging. Um, the next part, finding determinants, that's all in your calculator. I believe I go through that earlier. Um, these word problems, again, these are more challenging than what you'll actually encounter. Um, but, again, if you want to see them, I'll at least set them up for you. Um, we have two things in this first one. We have gallons of regular gas, and we have gallons of premium gas. Okay? Our money of regular gas is, or our number, I guess, is we have... 14 gallons of regular gas. So 14x, and we have 10 gallons of the other gas, premium. And we know that between the two of those, it's equal to 46.68. Okay, now what we're trying to find is how much each is. Okay, and they give you this little thing here. Premium costs 30 cents more than regular. So let's think of this. If premium was, say, three bucks. Okay, that means regular, since it costs three, 30 cents more, must be 270. Okay, algebraically speaking, um, premium is y, correct? Yes. So if y is some number, then in order to get it, you're just doing x plus 130. That's your extra bit of information. Premium gas is regular gas and 30 cents more. Use substitution. 14x plus 10 times x plus 0.30 equals 46.68 and you can continue down to that and what you should get is that x or regular is um, 118 I believe you will find my answers itself um, 182 and y is 2, 1. Okay. Um, 
but again, if you just set it up, hopefully you can get those answers down below. Um, the other one that's a little more challenging, um, and these are dealt with in finite, if you take that with me. Um, a total of 1500 is invested in two corporate bonds. So bond one, we'll let equal x, and we'll say bond two is y. We have two bonds, and between them, we want to invest $15,000. Okay, so that's how much money we have. Now, we want to make from interest, okay, we want to make 880. Now, how's that made up? Well, that's 5% of our x. 5% is 0 0.05. And 7% of our y equals 88. From here now, you have the way to solve. I would use probably elimination or sub, uh, substitution. Um, but those are your equations. Again, these are all extras for you to know from later. Um, if you solve that one the whole way out, x should be a 50, 8,500, sorry, and y should be 6,500. So here's your equations. At least try and get through the grid um, either method. Lastly, Bob's Berry Barn. These ones here, again, um, getting used to the matrices. All you're doing, and I kind of scaffolded here for you, is multiplying the matrices. A times B. Okay, here's matrix A. That is matrix B. You just multiply the two. And what it gives you is for June, July, and August, um, in the money he makes. Um, each of those, just a second, uh, is 1875. 2540 and 2220. Now, scaffolding. I want you to make the matrices. So you set up the system of matrices. So just try, okay? Again, your two things are candy and cookies. So those are your columns candy and cookies. Now, when do you sell them? Summer, fall, winter, spring. So you have as your rows, summer, fall, winter, spring. And from there, you just kind of make a little matrix. It's almost as though you own a business and you want to organize your sales. So for candy, you have 150. You had 200 and 200. You had 150 and 300. And you had 230 and 130. Now, it says set up a system of matrices. You also need another matrix um, with the cost. So candy and cookies. Again, look at this one above. That's how they're set up. And you need the cost. Well, candy costs four dollars each. And cookies two. Um, matrix A. Matrix B. Multiply the two, and it gives you your matrix for each season. And you have seven hundred. 1200, 1200 again, and 1180. So summer, fall, winter, spring. Real easy. Howie's hammer. The last one here. 
he sells them um, either cheese and ham. So cheese is one variable, ham's the other. Okay, X and Y. So if you set up your table, X and Y are your columns. In rows, we have regular, we have beefy, and we have super beefy. Okay. Um, I'll leave it up to you to kind of fill it out. Um, and then, of course, you also need your price, which needs to be two rows, and that's for your cheese, and that's for your hand. Okay. And all said and done, A times B, you should have for regular... One 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 two five point five uh, one three three two point seven five and for a super one six two four fifty. Okay, um, real easy. Again, if you guys watch these and you're still confused, please ask me for help or email me and such. Okay, awesome stuff through these word problems. Don't let them scare you. And again, these are more challenging than what you'll come across. Um, but that's the name of the game. So, awesome stuff, guys.